Okay guys, welcome back. So I'm kind of a few wee buzzers up and I just wanted to show you this wee one. So the hook in the vise is a Camazon B175 in size 10 and the thread that I'm going to use is the Ultra Thread 70 black. So we'll just come in and get our thread started. Just work on the thread down past the point of the hook and remove the waist tag of thread. There's we tag at the back of red holographic tinsel and we're going to use this for the cheeks also. So just going to work the thread down until I'm in line with the, the barb and then back up. Now, realistically only looking three turns of this or so. it in. Now, at this point I'm just going to work my thread forward. I could curl less about the tinsel. I'm just concentrating on just keeping the body as smooth as you can. That point there. Trim away the tinsel. Right, I'm just going to flatten the, the thread out by spinning the bobbin anti-clockwise. The rib to create the impression of segment the body it is a very fine silver wire. Now this is a fan yards number 27. It's really fine. Just give it another wee spin then I'm just going to work my thread forward. there. Now the turns up to your shelf here. I'm just looking five or six. Just up to that point there. Catch it in and then just work on the thread forward. Bringing the wire right up sort of way to the eye of the hook. And then we can and then break away and then we'll just build up the thorax some people like a thin thorax some people like it bulky it's really up to you at this stage the size that you want it I'm going to come back down at this point here and we're just going to catch in our same piece of holographic tinsel that we used for the tag. I just want to try and catch it on the side and then we'll fold this bit around. Just going to turn the vise just to make sure I keep it on the side the best that I can. And then I want to come back up. Back down one more time, back up. It's mostly all thread work these flies. I'm just going to throw a couple of half hitches in because UTC is very. Bouncy, if you like, the one all the thread turns to unravel. And then we'll come over with our two pieces of holographic. Follow this around with the thread. Right, just put it nice and tight, just to get it to hug the hook. Then fold back the the holographic. And just work our thread up. Then we'll trim away the waist. Now you can tie these all different colours in this style. You don't always have to use red. Really with these wee patterns, your imagination has no no bounds, no limits. 
like to build like a wee shape in the head at the front. <coughs> Excuse me, beg your pardon. And then I'm just going to come in and just put in a whip finish. Now this, the name of this wee flat is called Ed's Red. Put the thread tight and trim away the tank thread. Now, we can kind of come in now and protect everything. So you could use super glue, or in this case I'm going to use some thin UV resin. Now what I do is just start off with the thorax, always at the thorax area, and then just come in with my needle and just move this around just until I'm sort of way happy with the with the shape that I want to see and then just light it up sorry light it up with a torch just make sure it's well cured now see him again just clean my needle with a bit of kitchen roll straight back in back onto the thorax area again and then take this down over the over the body over the wee pattern and you just want to always keep it on the move and then back up now if you think you've got too much on just wipe a bit off now just use a bit of kitchen roll just to stop getting it on my fingers and then come back in and cure the resin now it's good to have these this wee pattern here tied on both straight and curved hooks because with the with the straight hooks you can they're good for pulling then just to seal the uv resin usually stick on two coats of varnish this is the first coat so always sort of wait if you can start at the back and work forward I mean I just follow the same process if I think I've too much on just come in and remove it and there you go guys that's the that's her eye tie it's red Which you can't go wrong with red and black. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. If this is the first time watching. Please consider subscribing. And if you just like the wee video, give us, a, give us a wee thumbs up. And until next time, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. And all being well, I'll catch us on the next one. Thanks. Bye.